do it uh, when we leave here on the way to the burger. from one it will release these tannins to make the, the leaves very bitter then it will move to the next tree and then feed on so it won't spend too much time feeding on one tree and these trees can Kudus. There's one right here next to you looking at you there, John. Right here. So in about May, June, beginning of June, they have their mating season. There's a lot of fighting and whatnot going on, but the males will try and establish these territories. The better territories draw in more females, they will then mate with those. So he's got the horns.
Biggest bug. Yeah, except the except the bug. We don't for game drive, but we're trying to figure out how many cheetahs yeah. we can have on this reserve in comparison to lion. So we potentially can't even have cheetah. You know, it's it's, yeah. like it's a constant research yeah, yeah. That, that we have to do because we see them in certain areas, but there's areas that we don't see them moving that they do move. Okay. You know, so literally our cheetahs, they like on the collars, they'll move down the fence line like this in an L shape. Huh. That's all they do. And then the lions, they move around here. Oh. And lions are so scared of, of, well, cheetahs are so scared of lions that oh. they hang completely out of the area. You know, so is it really fair to put like 10 cheetahs yeah. on yeah. this little fence line, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. So that's what we're trying to figure out. Fine. From a violin sprite. Okay, so maybe elephant way, kiss the Maybe maybe approach from this side. From Rano side. You reckon? Yeah. Okay. I trust you. That scene, guys, we got that Do it justice though with the no, camera. No, it doesn't. No. <laughs> Just go onto your Instagram, Keegan. <laughs> <laughs> White rhino. <laughs> this is a white rhino. Look at you. Oh, look at the baby. Gosh. 
some noise. Do you have any idea what's upset you? They're upset because there's Americans in those ships. <laughs> males especially their face gets very gnarled from fighting so they fracture that skull and you'll see all the little bumps and things on the nose can you see that yeah so it cultifies over again after wow. the fractures and becomes harder and harder every time oh, Looks like a hoop poo. Yes, Dad, it is. A ground woodpecker. Your words for supper. Wildebeest. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Not too much left, eh? Do you think that's what they were eating last night? Uh, yes, this is what they were eating. Unfortunately, he died quite a while ago. Oh, he smelled all the poop. I don't know. I think he was fighting thing. with another elephant mm. and ended up getting himself killed. But you can see the teeth here, guys. Oh. On this bottom jaw. So these will replace themselves. Oh, this breaks. Wow. Sure. So you can see the other. To the chest. So they would come and if they saw a random elephant, they would just come and. Yeah, yeah, so they'll come and they'll smell it. Okay. Very emotional animals. Mm -hmm. so you guys can see here that the teeth coming through. You guys went chat earlier. You can see the molars here and they'll replace these teeth six times in their life. So they will continuously be going through them. You can see the other set coming through. And when they get to 60, they'll kind of run out of teeth and they'll slowly die of malnutrition. They can't um, feed on... Sad to see them, but... Yeah. It's pretty interesting yeah. too. You see the size of some of these bones. Mm. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it's like a dinosaur.
this is next to me. Mm. Both together. Potentially, it is, it is, look at it, Your water hooks, they, they have the stick. They love the little pom pom tail that they get before it grows out. These youngsters have it. So they've got a 15 month gestation. 15? Yeah, carrying the baby for 15 months. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. The only species we have on the reserve virtual plains. Then in the Eastern Cape, you'll get your Cape Mountain zebra. And then as you go into Namibia, your Namibia, your gravy. These guys are looking very clean. Mm. Wow. So beautiful. These are two males, looks like these young ones in the middle. I think this could be a bachelor group, so males that haven't got females yet. They have to start their own harem, so they're all just hanging out. Stealing fillies. They have to come into Eastress from other harems. The lion's literally right down the road. Yeah. <laughs> so the red bull oxpeckers. <laughs> Look at all the birds. <laughs> so those birds will eat the ticks. So they eat blood. So they obviously ticks are full of blood. So they'll eat the ticks. And then what's it, what are you saying about the scarring? Yeah, so that's, you can see the scarring on the shoulder there. So it'll just be from moving through bush. Oh, got it. Off, yeah. yes. Just the one male in this. Area. Yeah. There's one to the right. called the Flim and Grimace. You see him? He's like smiling at us. Starlings don't also, they also don't really have the best name in South Africa. Do you have to wear clothes? I mean the clothes. Yeah, nice. Game drive done. So how was it? Amazing. I told your parents everything will feel boring now. Yeah. <laughs> Everything in my whole life will feel boring. Check out these rooms. Look at that ceiling. Hello.